Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and today we're doing a challenge. So it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos. Basically what I do is I pick kind of an obscure or a little bit odd challenge uh, for the calling cards and try to complete it. Now in this case we're coming all the way down to the prestige challenges, all the way at the bottom. So I've run classes really just to get challenges done. Um, so especially the gluttony ones where you run three perks from the same slot. Uh, those were, it didn't take too long because it's just 300 kills and aside from the perk setup you can run a fairly normal class. This one is a lot less normal so it's very similar to the, oops, about dropped my controller there. It's very similar to the overkill challenges where you have to get kills with the primary and secondary weapon in the same life. Um, so I actually did two warm-up rounds. I started off at 75 out of 100, did two rounds and got up to 96, so I decided to hold off there. Um, so I've been averaging 10 or 11 per match, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal to get them all in this one. And the nice thing about this is it will complete this whole section and give me another master uh, calling card. So pretty cool there. I kind of wish we had double XP or something for this, but again, I'm Master Prestige. I don't have anything to unlock. Uh, but that's 7,500 XP for that and 5,000 for mastering that set. Another one that I'm really close on is right here. I need to get uh, 13 more destructions or kills with the launcher with the high explosive attachment, and that will complete this segment. So that may be another video. We'll just have to see how that goes. All right. So... It's really cool how things worked out today because the contract is five matches of hardcore TDM and that is one of the best modes to get this done. So what I'm running for this setup is an RK7 and a Cap 45. I could run a Strife and get more one-shot kills, but uh, the Cap 45 is one that I don't have gold yet, so I still need to get you know a bunch of headshots and all of that. Also, I've been leveling it up, so I'm about ready to prestige it again. Uh, so anyways, let's jump into a match and see how it goes. So Recon is probably one of my favorite ones to run in uh, hardcore modes. And I'm running Dexterity as well as Gung Ho so that I'm able to get my weapon up faster. And I'm able to switch faster maybe by a little bit. I don't know that it makes too much of a difference, but Black Ops, go to it's, work. it's a difference. Maybe. <laughs> yep, there were two there. We have the advantage. There's one set. I need three more. Let's get on target. Oh. <laughs> that is the issue with running uh, four perks and underkill. You don't get that much in the way of uh, options for attachment. So all I'm running the is uh, FMJ on my Cap 45 here, and that is about it. Behind. The main reason for that is if somebody's running armor, you can kind of negate the effects of that. The uh, other thing is it might be easier to run the Strife because you get more one-shot kills. Because uh, the Cap 45 does tend to get a decent amount of hit markers at range. I think up close you can get one hits with it, but... Uh, what do we got? Hearing my teammates. That's close. I need one more set. That always makes you nervous whenever they're shooting through walls. Oh, nice work, you climbed around. Alright, spawn flip. I think this might be the first spawn flip of the match. Now, I do sometimes forget, especially if I'm recording, I'll forget to throw out my uh, sensor dart, which is not that great. my timing. I did play two warm-up rounds before this. Uh, that's why I have some progress on my contract. 
See there, that took two hits on him. It wasn't quite on target to begin with. But there we go. Got all of the wild card challenges done. Boom. There it is. Wow. I guess those shots didn't register. And that's one of the things that bugs me a little bit with well, just about any multiplayer game is the timing uh, and the way some of it works. I think the difference is being the di difference between client side and server side. Basically, what I see versus what the server sees, uh, and that's why sometimes it feels like your shots don't work. It's because to the server, you're already dead. Mm. See right there, my gun went off two or three shots, but. Now, I am looking forward to watching some of the multiplayer reveal. I don't know if I'll be available to watch the entire live stream or not, but uh, it would definitely be nice to be able to watch some of that. <laughs> oh. Nope. I should have stayed in the corner. <laughs> you know what? Let me check something. I do have a class with high explosive on it. I don't know if I'd be able to get enough at this point uh, in the match to count, but I might get some. The guy in that corner, I don't know. There's a guy right there. Oh, nice. Because see, they can use that window pretty effectively. I think this gun I haven't played with a whole lot. Not near as much as I should, probably. But, uh... Oh, come on. That's the other thing, is how much of a difference in damage there is between uh, direct impacts and uh, just splash damage. It's pretty crazy. Right. Don't know if that counts as one something being destroyed, so... Ah, the razor wire just went away. How did I not kill him? Ah, oh, there's three of them in there. How did that launcher not get a kill? It'd be kind of funny to complete both of those challenges in a single match. Playing kind of sloppy now. This class is not really set up for hardcore that well, because. Anytime I set up for hardcore, I pretty much always have Team Link, with the exception of that underkill class, mainly because of uh, not having the space. That doesn't make much sense. Hostile UAV circling. Oh, oh teammate got it Hostile first. Care package above. Yeah. Let's try this. Okay. Can't even get out of spawn there. Okay. So it kills me from that range, but didn't kill the reaper that was in the room with it when it exploded. I'll be glad when I'm done with this challenge. I hope you can place it and finish the mission. <laughs> I 
so you can't use the window as well. Wow. Alright, there we go. We started off pretty good, but when I switched over to the launcher, it kind of went downhill. I'm kind of curious how many destructions actually counted there. Because I got a couple kills with it. And as you can see here, the strife is absolutely nasty and hardcore. This guy knows it. He's got dark matter on it, and that's what he's running in hardcore. Yep. Yeah. The reserve case. Now, I've just been opening the reserve cases normally just to see what I get. But there we go. We got the uh, master for the wild card uh, calling card challenges. Very nice. About almost 20,000 XP. So let's back out of this match. I am kind of curious how many of those we got. So we're up to 293. We were at what, 285? No, 287? I don't remember. Anyways, we got a few there. Um, but yeah, that'll push us up a little bit. I've got two of them completed in this segment. Uh, there's several things that I really have to go for to actually get. One of them I'm working towards is unlocking or re-unlocking some of the uh, operator mods so I can run those. I've been running the Titan a little bit to try to get the oppressor on it, which I don't really care for just because of how frustrating how frustrating it is to go against it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be kind of back buckling down a little bit on some of these challenges trying to get them done. I uh, don't know if I'm going to go for a hundred percent. That's quite a lot and some things just have to fall into place for that to happen. But, um, and I'd have to play a lot of different modes. I don't play heist much. Hard point, if I play, if I want to get, uh, objective kills, then hard point's the way to go. Don't play control a whole lot or search and destroy. I think I've played literally five or six matches of search and destroy, and that's it. Uh, free for all, not bad. I could go in there and play some of that. But, uh, anyways, if there's another challenge you want to see me do, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll let you know if I've already done it or uh, if that's something I've got left to do. But I've got quite a few that are really close to being complete um, and some of them you just got to get good timing with uh, or go for them. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll catch you in another video.